Good afternoon. I'm so disgusted. There has never been a time in my life where I was ever ashamed of being a black man. No matter how bad things got, I thank God every day for making me a black man. I don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel that way anymore. We're not even raising children. We're raising animals. Animals. And we feed them and we encourage them and we sanction their behaviors. And we can't see what's going on here. I have a change jar in my house every day. I take the change out of my pocket and I put it in that jar. When I go dump it in the machine, it's a couple of hundred dollars. Every day I wake up in the morning and Philadelphia News tells me that at least five people have been shot overnight, black people, and at least two of them are dead. Every day, every day, equate that to my change jar and think about it. If we're killing two of our own people every day in Philadelphia, two of our own people every week in Asbury Park, two of our own people every day in Washington, D.C., two of our own people every day in Chicago. What are we doing? Genocide. Genocide. We have got to be the greatest source of entertainment on this planet. Every other race of people have to be looking at us and saying, Lord, have mercy. I pray to God that my people never become that pathetic. We're destroying ourselves. We're destroying ourselves. Those of us that are not dying are going to jail. The ones that are successful are marrying white people. So you have a bunch of us killing ourselves. You're locking the rest of us up. And the others are marrying out of the race and having mixed children who will marry white women and have less mixed children who will marry white women and men and erase your behind. And all we do is get balloons and pictures and make murals and we think that we are celebrating somebody. What we're doing is advertising our ignorance. What we're doing is encouraging our own self-destruction. Where are, excuse me, where are the adults that are raising these children? Right Today, I just got back from Home Depot. While I'm in the car, my wife gets a call that some young boys was looking for another young boy, couldn't find him, so they killed his mother. We're damn animals. Animals. Nobody has to do anything else to us because we're doing it to ourselves. For God's sake. For God's sake, the greatest people on the earth has turned into animals, barbaric animals. 
every situation calls for a gun. You know what your children are doing. You know. You can't tell me you don't know because you see who they're hanging out with and what their, what, what, what their goals are in life. And you sanction that crap and you allow it. And we're destroying ourselves. Genocide. Genocide. I'm so ashamed. I am so ashamed to be a black man today. Because I came from a time when black men were real men. I come from a time where no matter what our situations were, we took care of each other. I come from a time when I could say it loud. Yeah, I was black and I was proud. Not anymore. Not anymore. I am so ashamed of the ignorance in my people, the will and the ability to destroy each other and think that that's really doing something. You better get a grip and realize who the real enemy is. You better get a grip and realize who has conditioned you to do what you're doing to your own people. Genocide. Please stop. Please. I'm asking parents, talk to your children. I'm talking to, I'm asking brothers that got more sense than the ignorance out here to please do something other. Do something other than paint people's pictures on your t-shirt and go to their funerals. Do something other than rest in peace on Facebook and, and, and never forgotten. We're destroying ourselves. And the rest of the world is just watching and applauding you because you're doing such a good job. There are more black men and women dying on the streets than died in the Vietnam War. We are at war with ourselves. How sad is that? Please, let's do something. We're going to destroy ourselves. We're going to be erased from this planet by our own hand. I pray to God that somebody listens to me today. <laughs>